It doesn't matter. Don't look to the end goal. They have us focused on that so that we are focused on the outcome, not the experience. And so the experience of happiness brings you in other happiness energetically, other other feelings of like enjoyment, happiness, that kind of thing. So you want to bring well, that well. in. You want to bring that in. You don't want to well, on, focus on like, well, we got to achieve this or that. Okay, it'll well, San Jose you, is it'll here. come to you. I resin wanna... brings a smile. Yeah, I can't wait to start Shut doing up, my San resin Jose. stuff more. That makes me happy. Sometimes looking at my astrology programs makes me so happy. Um, reading a book makes me happy. I I'm not going to lie, eating happy. cake makes me happy, but that's it. I don't think about what I don't have anymore. I think about just get out and do something. And I'm telling you, I did this at a point in my life where I didn't have money coming in, where a lot of things went bad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> these people are texting me crazy shit while I'm on here. Anyway, I, I never that? thought like, so when I was doing my extreme hikes about four years ago. I wasn't doing well financially at that time. I was doing just enough to get by. But when I, I would say, okay, I don't have any clients. And instead of sitting at home trying to worry about how to get clients, I went out hiking. And then I started smiling and I started doing this. Hot chocolate makes me very, very happy. <laughs> Whipped cream on hot chocolate so yeah. much. No, I listen to music when I film my Instagram when I do it so you can hear the music but when I'm hiking like six hours not really I mean six or seven hours when we go through the desert I'm not really listening to anything oh there you are Ashley there you are oh my god I haven't replied I'm here. Ashley is so cute You're she does cuter. her yoga she's super cute she knows what I'm talking about Ashley knows because I watched Ashley I'm not going to say like your personal story but I watched where heard where she come from watched where she ended up now have seen where she's going and it's so like all amazing. The way up. She actually put aside all the shit that was in her way, every shit, people shit, family shit, life shit, whatever, and put it to the side and and just did what brings her complete and utter joy. And that's who she is now. That's who she is. Anything else before that wasn't. And it's quite interesting to watch that happen. She is just who she is. Like, she's like, here I am. This is it. <laughs> and that's what she does. And you can see it. And she doesn't care. And she's not worried. I'm and not, she's not worried about anything. She's just like, this is what I'm going to do. So she understands the concept. <laughs> oh, you did it yourself. She did it herself. She so did it herself. Strong woman who came from a... I'm not going to say what, but came from a very difficult, when I met you, it was difficult. I mean, the shit that you went through and you kind of know what I'm talking about from the inside out too. <laughs> she knows a lot of stuff. She knows, she knows shit. And so know she things. knows shit. She knows shit. I know shit. Do you know shit? She knows shit. You know uh, shit. I know <laughs> yes, shit. Yes, I closed We're going down. to Mexico. I mentioned that I did close down my Facebook. No, Ashley, she knows it. Instead of focusing on what she didn't have, she just focused on what made her happy. So she does it. I know we're twins. We're twins. You're a younger twin, but still and we're, we're going twins. to Mexico. But she did what made her happy. What made her smile. So every time she moved in a yoga pose and did that, that's what brought her joy. And as a result of that joy, her life took her down different directions. May not be where she thought she was going to be, but sometimes we have expectations that are not where we're that are not like literally our our expect. You know, it's not our expectations, right? <laughs> right there you go exactly it's not our expectations her story is a beautiful story she's done really well she'll probably share it one day with you guys when she does her youtube channel she can share it but it's it's really she's amazing young woman and has done it and, and done it in a way just she understood things and came out of it doesn't let anything stop her so that's the best way and to put a smile on her face to bring that in so that's very interesting. And still, she forgave people around her. She was gracious and caretake them. No, don't blush. It's true. I watched all of that happen. Like, just the graciousness of her soul. Those are the people on this planet, though, that get walked on a lot. They do. They get walked on a lot. So all of them, in all different kinds of walks of life, the people that are empathic and gracious and, and all of those things, they can get walked on. This is not necessarily an easy, um, I'm going to share her private story. Okay. 
<laughs> no, I'm not going to share. I'm not. No, I don't want to share her private story. That's up to her. But you get the gist of it. I just, as a psychic doing readings for people, I'm really, um, it's really an honor to go into their energy for a second and then back out of their energy. So you go in and you go out. Um, you don't stay. You <laughs> just go in and you just well, get you out. you can stay if you and, want. Well, I'm sure you are empathic. The, I'm quite sure you are. Forgiveness is very tough. That's my hardest thing. I would rather get even with people, ah, quite, frankly, quite frankly. I love you. <laughs> We're going to Mexico. Uh -huh. La Pamacia. Some people might find it fun to 